Shelter, place somewhere full of love and grace. I dream of fields with a cool ocean breeze, a home for my own family. When I got my wish, I pinched myself to make sure this home was real. They sent for a boy, but then I was a girl. My dreaming had just let me down again. If I came as a queen with long ebony hair, then maybe they'd feel I was worth it for them. I'm a good worker in spite of my talking. I've longed to belong here for all of my life. Don't send me away without seeing what I see. Everything I touch is full of delights. I'll do my best to not let you down. I can imagine a world full of joy. Just give me your hand and I'll teach you to hope. You'll find that I've something worthwhile. Just let me stay here and I'll love you forever. I promise a life full of I've made the most fashionable hat. <laughs> it looks like a mountain rage grew on your head. <laughs> Some people have no fashion sense. Uh, uh oh! Hey! <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't me! <laughs> Oof! <gasps> Look out! No. No. <gasps> Sorry, Mr. Gresham. Oh, sir, if I'd known Avonlea's illustrious mirrors behind me, I'd have gladly faced my assailant and taken the blow myself. Oh, no matter, Anne. I'm quite accustomed to newspaper attacks. <laughs> Still, it's a shame you can't do more with the Avonlea Chronicle than fold it up and throw it around. What else is there to do with it? Do I read it, of course. Mr. Gresham, newspapers have nothing to offer us kids. They're boring, except when the adults are finished reading them. Then you can do stuff with them. All right! I would think the Chronicle has lots to offer kids. But if it isn't for you, then why not start up your own paper? Our own newspaper? How? Well, come on downstairs. I'll show you. Let's go! <laughs> All right! This old printing press just needs some oiling up. You mean we can use this? Well, if you're careful. Our own newspaper. Exactly. A newspaper is the voice of the people. If the Avonlea Chronicle isn't speaking for you, well, then start your own. Tell our own stories. Now this could be fun. I can't wait to fix the printer. First things first. Exactly. Come up with a name. No, get a donation of paper. No, get those nifty hats reporters wear. Gilbert, we need to be logical. We should start by visiting Mrs. Lind. Mrs. Lind? What for? She is the society columnist for the Avonlea Chronicle. Precisely, and we need advice. A newspaper's a big job, children. Are you sure you're up to it? We remain undaunted at the prospect of so mammoth an undertaking. Well, it'll be a long time before you reach the kind of journalistic excellence on which I have built my reputation. Well, we've got to start somewhere. Very true. Why, I remember when I started out as an intrepid reporter. I had such ideals, uh, such enthusiasm. Uh, Mrs. Lynn, we just want to know if you have any advice. Advice. Quite right. Firstly, you need to give each person a beat. A beat? What each reporter reports on. My beat, of course, is Avonlea's social activities. Hey, that's perfect for Felicity. <laughs> oh, oh uh, sorry. But most important, choose your editor carefully to make sure the newspaper runs like a well-oiled machine. A good leader is everything. Hmm. Hmm. A good leader is everything. I nominate Anne. Why, thank you, Diana. And so, if there are no other contenders... Psst. Amy? Oh, I... Yes, I nominate Felicity. 
That would be disastrous. I beg your pardon. I said, uh, is there anybody else who dares to put themselves forward for the daunting job of editor? Good. Now we have an election. Okay. All those in favor of... Wait! Shouldn't we know what kind of leader we're getting? Wonderful idea. <clears throat> a vote for Anne Shirley is a vote for a tireless, inspired leader with love of literature and a passion for our noble enterprise. In short, all you could ask for. And you, Felicity. <gasps> well, I promise that... that the newspaper will... will... Oh, never, ever report any bad news. <sighs> I am deeply honored by the faith you have placed in me. I assure you, I will exceed all expectations. <sighs> Can we get started? Yes. What will we call the newspaper? Good question. Anne? Why, the Avonlea Herald, of course. Harold? Who's Harold? Uh... It's not a person, it's a thing. The messenger to the people. Then why don't we just call it the Avonlea Messenger? How positively pedestrian. <laughs> we need something poetic, inspiring. I hereby name our noble enterprise the Avonlea Herald. Gilbert, you can be photographer. <gasps> Lloyd, you report on sports. <gasps> Amy, you do the comics. <gasps> Diana, you take the local news beat. Felix, you're in charge of running the press. You're not bossing me around. I choose society reporter, like Mrs. Lind. Why, Felicity? That's just what I was going to assign you anyway. What do we do now that we've got a job? Find your stories. Hunt down news to inspire and inform our fellow townsfolk. And hurry, we've got a newspaper to produce. Yay! Phew, so far so good. The Avonlea Herald. Think of the possibilities. In no time, my little newspaper will become the biggest paper in Avonlea, in all of Prince Edward Island. Oh, Miss Evans, thank you for taking time from your busy stage career to give another interview. And darling, how could I refuse? Your writing truly captures the real me. If there's anything I can do for you... Perhaps your connections might help us set up a European bureau. I'll send a telegram right away. Anything to help such a marvelous paper. It's just that nobody reads my column in the Chronicle anymore. Mrs. Lind, I'm dreadfully sorry. Under your astute leadership, the Avonlea Herald has set new heights of journalistic excellence. I'd be ever so grateful if you might consider hiring me. Hmm. I'll see what I can do. Oh, Anne, thank you. I'd give anything to work for such a fine editor. Anne, uh... I trust we can count on the Avonlea Herald's support of this crucial bylaw? Hmm? Mr. Gresham, my newspaper may make and break politicians in this country, but I haven't forgotten how your kindness helped me get where I am today. I knew we could count on you. However, you'll have to wait to read my editorial tomorrow, same as everybody else. No, no. If she's against us, our goose is cooked! You've done it again, Anne. Ever since I declared crane caps the latest trend, it has become all the rage. I thank my lucky stars that you're the editor and not me. Well, that makes two of us. Now, about your latest article. Yes, I thought I thoroughly captured the excitement of Mrs. Trimble's tea party. Didn't you? Actually, I thought it was a tad, uh, verbose. <gasps> oh, Anne! Really? Not only that, but Mrs. Lind is nipping at your heels for the job. Oh, Anne, I promise I'll never be verbose again. Please, Anne. Please? Anne? Anne? Uh, 
Felicity? Uh, oh, what tantalizing tidbits of society news have you found? Well, the uh, Ryans are having a livestock auction on Saturday. Livestock? Yes, and Mr. Rockwell's niece, Dottie, is visiting from Halifax. His niece? That's the best you can do? Unless you want me to make up the news. Oh, certainly not. Just don't report the same old boring news as the Avonlea Chronicle. Gilbert, I trust you found a photograph to grace the front of our paper. I got one of Mr. Lawson in front of the new shipment of artichokes. Artichokes. Oh, dear. Diana, my bosom friend, I beg you for a news item worthy of our front page. Just what you're looking for. Oh, what a relief. They've resolved the debate on Mill Road. Whether brown eggs or white eggs taste better? Eggs? It's decided. Brown tastes better. Oh, I will not have my paper disgraced with artichokes, taste tests, and horse auctions. Your paper? I'm the one with vision. I'm the one with goals, which nobody else seems to appreciate. Oh, this is as boring as... as... as reading the grown-ups paper. Ugh, I'd rather go fishing. Ugh, I've never been so insulted. Horse auctions are a perfectly reasonable news item. Well, what do you say? Fishing sounds good to me. Oh, please, Diana, don't go. This was supposed to be fun. It is. Not for me. I'd rather do something else. Fine, see if I care. The problem with being a leader is having to suffer the most atrocious mediocrity. I'll do it all myself. Oh, dear. Except for one thing. I'd fix the printing press. Phew. Thanks, Anne. There are rewards to standing by one's editor, unlike those yellow-bellied turncoats. Having problems running a newspaper? The only problems were my staff, but now I'll do all the work myself. You think you can manage? I know I can. Oh, dear. That's the siren for the mine. What happened? There must have been a cave-in at the mine. You mean miners are trapped? Probably. How dreadful. Get an update and meet me at the office. This is the story we've been waiting for. A chance to prove myself and help those poor miners. Ugh. This is going to be tricky. Felix, what's the news? The cave-in trapped a miner in his pony. His pony, too? This is the stuff of high tragedy. Are they all right? Uh, I, I don't know. What kind of reporter are you? I'm not. I'm the printer. That's just not good enough. I'm sorry. You didn't tell me to... Do I have to do everything myself? Yes, I suppose you do. Felix, wait. I, I didn't mean that. Oh, dear. I can't do this alone. <laughs> Gilbert! Perry, wait up! We can't wait, Anne. We're going to the mine. There's been a cave-in. I know. It's the most staggeringly important thing to hit Avonlea since the newspaper was founded. Uh, Anne, the Avonlea Herald was only founded this morning. Well, I need help. Boys, I'm going to offer you the chance to take part in reporting this earth-shattering moment of history. What do you say, Perry? I think we'd better get going. Me too. It's no fun if I've got to work for this tyrant. Tyrant? Well, that's because I have to work with dodos like you! Oh, dear. Where to begin? Take pictures, do interviews, or keep watch at the entrance. Oh, I can't do all this myself. <sighs> Martin, Gallagher, see if you can rustle up some shovels. We'll have to dig him out. Wally, thanks for these diagrams. They'll help us to find a way in. Mrs. Warren, see if we can tap a message to the miner through the pipes. The rest of you, start clearing the rubble from the front. Oh. Who's trapped? Mr. Breen. Uh, but we've got a good team together. We'll get him out. It was wonderful how you got everybody in action. I'm mayor. That's my job. I wish I could be a good leader. 
A leader just sets goals and makes sure people work together. You also inspire others to do their best. Everybody does a good job if you let them. Speaking of which, I'd better get back to it. What a terrible fool I've been. <laughs> I'd rather not be a reporter. But, Diana, I need you. Why? To be at your beck and call? No. This is a local interest story. That's your beat. You would be lead writer. And you wouldn't take over? I swear by our friendship, this story shall be yours. Oh, I suppose I'm interested then. Oh, Diana, thank you. You could talk to the families of the miners. Hear what they think. Why me? Uh, we need your insight, your dogged determination, your way with words. I'll take it. Oh, thank you, Felicity. But only if you don't boss me around. Oh, I won't, I assure you. Please, Gilbert, I can't manage without you. There's too much to do. See, it will be fun. Think of it. Your photograph on the cover of our first edition. Mm, so long as I get to pick which photo. There. That's everybody but... Felix! Felix, I was an awful leader, and I implore you to forgive me. If you do, I promise to be the kindest, most noble editor ever. What made you change your mind? Seeing what a fool I was to think I could do it without all of you. Please, Felix, we can't print the newspaper without you. Felicity's writing about the family's safety concerns. Lloyd's observing the hillside for any sign the grown-ups might have missed. I talked to a man who saw the collapse. Excellent. Old Rooney told me how it happened. I made a diagram, see? That's wonderful, Amy. Thanks. They're never going to dig through all that rubble. There's got to be another way to reach Mr. Breen. <gasps> well, I just saw a puff of dust up on the mountainside. Dust? What does that mean? Perhaps from deep inside the mine. Maybe it's a way in. Diana, why don't you go take a look? Right away. That mine's deep inside this mountain. How could there be... Whoa! Cheaper's a way in! Hello? Hello? Mr. Breen? <coughs> Down here! Oh my gosh, uh, are you okay? I'm fine, just get me out of here. This is Diana Barry. Uh, I'll go get some help, Mr. Breen. You hold on. Good job, Amy. Why don't you work with Felix to write up captions? And and you were right. There's a fissure up there. I could hear Mr. Breen. Do you mean it's a way out? Gilbert, you and Diana head up the hill so Mr. Gresham knows where to send his crew. And get a good position. You'll want to take pictures. I'm almost out of film. I'll ask Perry to get more. Good thinking. Come on! Mr. Gresham! Mr. Gresham is busy right now. Now, about the rescue efforts. Mr. Gresham, please listen one moment. Diana spoke to Mr. Breen. She's found a way to get him out. There's a fissure up the hill. We could use the pulley to lift him out. You heard the girl. Let's get that pulley up the hill. But, but, wait for me. <sighs> Please, let me through. I'm press. I'm a respected reporter. <sighs> That's it. Mm. Almost there. <laughs> <laughs> Once more, everybody! Whoa! 
Mr. Gresham is the most inspiring leader. Mm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Breen, might I have a word with you? Diana Barry, you saved my life. I'm not so sure about that. I am. It's thanks to you I got out. I wonder if you might answer a few questions for my newspaper. For you? Anything. Uh, Mr. Breen? <gasps> well, I never. That was wonderful work, everyone. I'll say. You kids really saved the day. Except the day's not over yet. We've got a newspaper to put out. Oh, Yay! great! Yay! Yay! We did it! Yay! Extra, extra! Read all about it! Herald Reporter saves the day! Exclusive diagrams! Exclusive interviews! Exclusive photos! Who'd have thought we'd actually be selling newspapers? It's thanks to your leadership, Anne. No, it's thanks to everybody. We all made this happen. I suppose I'd better take a gander at my new competition. Here you go, Mrs. Wind. After all, I never did get an interview with Mr. Breen myself. Yours is free. We remember the good advice you gave us. Congratulations on the first edition. <laughs> I thoroughly enjoyed it. Thank you. I look forward to another edition next week. Mr. Gresham, I think I speak for everyone at the Avonlea Herald when I say that we might manage once a month. This newspaper business is fun, but it's also hard work. Three cheers for our editor! And three cheers for such a wonderful team! Hip, hip! Hooray! Hip, hip! Hooray!